Welcome aboard here at Northern Viking Explorer. If you're new here, my name is Ken. I'm Andrea. And today we're going to be reviewing the food and restaurants that we had on the Carnival Vista cruise ship. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Ken, let's talk about the food that we enjoyed while on the Carnival Vista. The food was great. It was good. We... We enjoyed eating. <laughs> yeah, no, there was some really good food on this cruise. Um, we Everything we ate was complimentary. So some of it was in different restaurants. We tried out quite a few restaurants, but everything we ate on the ship was complimentary. And I didn't feel like a lack of food options. There were so many options yeah. that it was a challenge to try and work our way through as and try as many things as mm -hmm. possible. Because I'm like, well, I want to go here, I want to go here, I want to go here, I want to go here. So yeah. there's lots going on when it comes to choosing what you want to eat. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Uh, I'm going to start out with a, a like yeah. that isn't actually about the food. Okay. But it kind of fits in here. It's They have really cool auto hand washing stations. Oh, yeah. Um, in the Marketplace Buffet. So you stick your hands in and these things spin and then dry your hands. And it's really handy. So... Um, it makes it really easy to wash your hands when you're heading into the buffet. It was down by the barbecue too. Was, mm -hmm. There was, kinda, there was a few of them. It's yeah. actually really relaxing. You just put your hands in. It's like a little spa. Did you fall asleep washing your hands? It was my free spa. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but there was a lot of complimentary options. So. Especially for lunch. Let's yeah. talk like lunch. I have a whole bunch of those. So that's yeah. a good lunch idea. Lunch is like where they really shine. So I would say that as well. Lunch uh, is where they really shine for sure. Um, the Mongolian walk inside Gigi's. We did that actually on embarkation day. It was open and it was really quiet on embarkation day. When we were on the panorama, we couldn't get in on the final mm -hmm. sea day. Yeah. It was, so, well, it was going to be like a yeah, we long, could. long yeah. wait. So, yeah. um, that was, that was good. And out of the, all of them I had, the food was good, but that's the one I would personally skip. Okay. It's probably because that's less your style. It's less my like. style. Not that the food was bad. You're so much more of a barbecue. So why do you <laughs> talk I, about I, the barbecue? Well, so there's the um, Guy's Pig and Anchor barbecue joint. Is that what it's called? Barbecue or... So it's it's not the full restaurant. It's kind of like a buffet where they serve it for you. Um, pork butt. I was like saying <laughs> that. <laughs> they've got uh, chicken. They've got... Um, there's lots of meat, yeah, like potato a, salad, yeah, coleslaw. Yeah, bread, all sorts of beans. cool stuff. Yeah, it's really good. That's one of my favorites on Carnival. Um, Blue Iguana Cantina, all the custom um, burritos, burritos tacos. and tacos. And then, of course, Guy's Burger. So those are both by the Beach Pool on Deck 10. Mm -hmm. And those are excellent. I really enjoy the Ringer Burger, like a burger with an onion ring in it. But they have, I think, five or six different ones you can choose from. There's pizza at the back. Pizza at the back. Um, uh, deck 10. I want to say Kachina. Uh, oh, Pizzeria del Capitano. That's what it's oh, called. Yeah, yeah I yeah. do have the name. Um, so they have... It's not open 24 hours a day anymore like it used to be. It's open late is what they call very it. Late. Or very late. Yeah. Um, but it's always nice to grab that kind of late at night. Some yeah, pizza. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Pasta Bella in Kachina del Capitano. So um, this one and... So Pasta Bella at lunchtime, it's complimentary in Cucina del Capitano. And it's kind of like Mongolian walk is complimentary at lunchtime um, inside of Gigi's. It's easy to miss them because they're on deck 11 where most of the complimentary food is on is it deck, deck 10. Is it deck 11? Yeah, yeah it is. It's, it's you're deck. right. It's right, it's right above the buffet. That's right. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed Pasta Bella more than, mm -hmm. than um, it was Mongolian good. walk. Yeah. So... Um, they give you a little piece of paper. You can order your pasta. I had actually lasagna, I believe. Mm -hmm. And you had your you get your toppings. They have salads. They it's have, good. Yeah, it's really good. So there's lots of different options. Um, of course, swirls ice cream. They've got the yogurt and the deli. The, the deli. In the so in the in the buffet, they have a little deli area where they make sandwiches for you. Um, yeah, so lots of good options, especially for lunch. My only wish that I'm gonna just add in here is that it stayed open later. Because mm -hmm. if you have a late breakfast and then you end up kind of thinking you're not hungry, um, you can, they don't stay... Not all the places are open till 5. They have different closing times. But mm -hmm. Well, I would say also... So there's the Marketplace Buffet. 
I would say because they have so many options for kind of specialty food that's free or complimentary, it does pull away from the buffet a little bit. So they, they don't have necessarily quite as many options as other cruise lines we've been on mm-hmm. in the buffet. That's true. But they did have tea time, not every day. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. That I was, I that. enjoy doing that, even though I'm usually so full. <laughs> yeah. Um, other, other thoughts on kind of the lunch? Oh, um, no. But I, I don't really, I don't have any complaints about lunch. No. Really. I, lunch like is I, amazing. Yeah. I, like they really shine. They do lunch right on Carnival. Yeah. And I'm sure we've actually probably forgot some. There was just... Just and it's really easy to get to, like, because some of the stuff is by the pool. Um, mm-hmm. You don't have to dress up. Like, it's 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 nice. It's fun, relaxed. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's talk. About, do you want to talk about the main dining room for breakfast? Yeah. And sea day brunch. So we did most of the days, other than I think a couple of the short or the days we were at port, we did either sea day brunch or breakfast. Mm-hmm. In the main dining room, we were in the Horizons. So um, I really enjoy that because they serve you there. They bring all the coffees and they do have complimentary juice, even though they also sell juice. The complimentary juice is excellent. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is the yogurt parfait. Oh, that's really good. It Mm -hmm. is really good. It's quite busy uh, in the main uh, buffet area for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be relaxed and sit down... I would recommend going to the main dining room. Yeah. And to be able to sit and uh, you're not looking for a table, you're not having to carry your food back. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a more relaxing experience if you have time. Yeah. I also like, they'll do the custom omelets there. Um, They take a little bit longer, but they'll do those there. They had, there's bacon, sausage, hash browns, all that kind of stuff you can get there. So um, lots of options. And on the sea day brunch, I can't remember what it was called. We had that, Kind of Mexican dish. Oh, the Rancho de Har- <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Anyways, it yeah. was good. I'll put a picture of it up. It's uh, it definitely was good. So there, there's there definitely some really stuff. nice stuff at the at the breakfast and the CD brunch and the MDR. Dinner. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna like say one thing. I do first off before we talk about the food with dinner. So we did the, where we could eat at different times. And so we need to make a reservation in the app. Mm -hmm. And I like, since they've rolled out the app, you don't have to go stand in line. No, you check in in the app. You check in in the app. They tell you when when your table's ready. And then you come down Mm -hmm. and they see you. So back before that, you'd, (laughs) you'd start lining up. Yeah. And you'd stand there and wait. Although it did malfunction. Well, that's in my wish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll zip that up. Um, we can talk about that now, though. Sure. The app is not perfect. So when you put in your reservation, I had to keep refreshing my app. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't get the notification that my table was ready. Mm-hmm. And then we also had one night where the whole, I don't want to say the whole system went down, but of course it was on a formal night. And it wasn't alerting people that dinner, their their table was ready. They'd seated kind of like round one, but they weren't able to call the second seating. Mm -hmm. And we just snuck in right before, like 15 minutes before closing, because we actually went and asked them, are we going to make it for dinner? And then they're like, oh, you can come in right away. And it was... It was a problem with the app. So it's not, it's not perfect. Yeah. Um, But overall, I do like the app and I do like um, being able to... Ken does not like this. Oh, this is one of my wishes, too. I know what you're going to say. No, uh, no, no, no. This is something oh, I like. I this is one of my wishes. This is one I like and you <laughs> don't like. I like to look at the menu ahead of time. I want I want a paper menu when I get, like, a regular menu, an old-fashioned menu. I do not like, I will adamantly say this, I do not like having to pull my phone out, scan the little barcode, and... And read my menu on the yeah, but phone. You don't like and I love technology. But you don't like looking at it, like when you get up in the morning, what's going to be for dinner? Because that's what I do. That's, I whatever, I don't mind seeing you it told ahead me, of time. You told me you didn't want to know. Well, <laughs> You're like, I don't want to know. I, that I takes do away like from the, the experience. I, I do like the surprise. Yeah. But 
I I really want the old school menu. Menu. I don't like the app. I don't like that it's assumed that you want the app and that you have to ask for the menu. I I just want the menu there. I just I'm I guess I'm old fashioned that way. I've adapted. Know. At first, I was disliked it heavily, but now I'm a pro at the app. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? The <laughs> app actually, if we're going to get into the app, <laughs> the app actually drained my phone's battery very heavily. But mine wasn't. And so, he has the better phone, so I don't know what I happened. don't know what was going on there. I could see that it was draining my battery extremely quickly. Mm -hmm. I Usually when I go to bed at night, I have half my battery left. It was like pulling it like crazy throughout the day. So I don't know what was going on there. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. The food was awesome. It was good. It was good. Uh, the MDR food is my favorite on the show. It's good. Really yeah. good. Go ahead. I feel like you got something to say. Well, I just love all the, the cool stuff you get to try that we would never have at home. Calamari, escargot, um, wild boar, all that stuff. Leg of lamb. There's just really cool stuff that you get to try. So my thing that I had as my likes is that they have the section called the rare, was it rare finds? Rare finds, I think, yeah. Yeah, and you listed like half of them there. Yeah. And so these are not things that I would normally try. And so I really appreciate it because it's actually... Frog's legs. It's fun. When else do you get to tell people I ate frog's legs? Yeah. Please. So. Yeah. I, and you know what? You're not going to like everything. No. Nope. But there's some really good stuff. And if you don't like something, ask for something else because they will... They'll cater to you. And the so. staff in there are amazing in the main dining room. So mm -hmm. it, the whole thing is just, yeah, amazing food, amazing staff. Yeah. It's a great, great dinner. Yeah. Shout out to Monzi. She was awesome. Oh, she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And Dana, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but some of the main food, lobster, filet mignon, prime rib, braised beef brisket. There are so many good things. I mm -hmm. um, Southern fried chicken. I'm just naming some of the ones I had. I know. You had a lot of fish. I did. That's yeah. a whole nother story. But. <laughs> but, and then even for desserts, um, you had the chocolate panna cotta that you raved oh, about. Oh my goodness. That was my favorite dessert mm -hmm. of the whole week. More than the carnival melting cake. <laughs> if I'm, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> You're allowed to say that. Yeah, yeah. It's your I know. Cruise. I know everybody else loves that, but I really enjoyed. There was several I enjoyed. Uh, one that sticks out to me was the key lime mousse. I didn't really have good. that one, but yeah. I know you loved it. Yeah. So there is definitely a lot to like about the MDR as well. Um, so I don't know. There's always going to be times where something doesn't maybe isn't your thing, but there's just really don't nice. Bring you more. If you don't like it, you're, you're never going to go hungry on a cruise. Mm -hmm. I do have a couple little wishes. Oh, okay. Do you have any wishes? Mine were just basically app-based. Just the ones is, we... Yeah. Um, so I already talked about the the paper menu thing. Mm -hmm. um, the Marketplace Buffet gets extremely busy. Yes, it does. Um, and so because it's not an island-based buffet yes, with multiple yes. islands, they made you... You kind of had to line up in one line at the end to get through. And at one point we went there... And I'm sure we waited 20 minutes just to get through the small little line because they'd closed down several of the sections. This was later at night. Was this like 9.30 at night? Um, probably 15 minutes before they closed. So I don't remember what time. But it was a good 15, 20 minutes. We waited in line just to get a couple of little snacks. And you have to go past the salad bar before you can get to the food you actually want. And well, it's true. <laughs> and because it is an island base where you kind of just cut in wherever, yeah. it's one big long line kind of. Um, people give you the dirty look if you just wanted to jump in and grab something. So we didn't try. That. We didn't try, but no. I saw Let's some people clear. getting yeah. the dirty look. We did um, not try. We'll make that clear. So that's one thing. Um, yeah. So I I don't know. That's that's kind of a drawback to me, and that it was really busy. But I did like one thing I wanted to mention. I do like the tables in the Marketplace Buffet. They've got the high tables, like the high top tables. I really mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. sitting in those. Um, I do too. Yeah. And um, the other thing I did want to mention, and these are all small things, but mm -hmm. the down on the lower decks, so kind of like the area where the casino is and the atrium, and mm -hmm. there isn't much for really or any 
complimentary food or beverages down there. And you know, There's the Pig and Anchor outside that's open on sea days mm -hmm. or embarkation day at lunch. But if you want even just some water or something, it was really hard to come by. And there's hints <clears throat> that you can tell they used to have food in different areas. There's the coffee shop down there. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. There's not very many Yeah, options. and there was the, um, where they played, um, played. But there wasn't beverages, complimentary beverages there. Yeah, but I was going to say where they used to do the, um, the trivia. Yeah. I was told that in the past they used to have, like, complimentary well, small finger foods back in there. Yeah, no. And it's not uh, there We anymore. didn't see that. I could see where that was. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So there wasn't really... So it was always... Especially being on deck up. two, you had to go all the way up to the uh, <laughs> deck ten. So a bit, little bit of a trek. Yeah. But other than that, um, I the food was really good, and I especially enjoyed the MDR food on the ship. So um, any other final thoughts? I enjoyed all the food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's our thoughts for you on the food and restaurants on the Carnival Vista.